Hello and welcome to Before You Buy, where we take an in-depth look inside the box before you buy yours. This week is a Mobius Models along with Model King, a 1965 Plymouth Belvedere A990 Hemi Superstock car, done up in Butch Leal's California Flash livery. Really cool artist work on the front cover. Get that same artwork on the end, along with our kit number, which is 1221. And on the sides, we get some shots of a built-up and some features highlighted. This is a skill level 3 for advanced builders 15 and above. We get an A990 interior with van seats, showing off that Butch Leal authentic decal markings. This was the 1964 Superstock Champion. And the end flap, here's another shot of that built-up with some more features. Starting over here, we got that Cross Ram 426 Hemi, again mentioning that 426 Hemi 4-speed transmission, super stock hood scoop, yes, super stock magnesium wheels, rear seat delete, super stock full exhaust, drag slicks and steel rear wheels. Really good looking car there. Let's crack her open and check it out. And right on top, we do have the body, not bagged or anything. Again, it is Belvedere. We got that logo on the fender. Really crisp marking. Plymouth across the, the rear. And this is the Belvedere with the sedan body. It does have the post sedan roof. Great colored instructions from Mobius. This looks like our decal package. Bagged up clears. Bagged up plastic. We got some tires rolling around. Some more plastic there. Tires and chrome in the bottom. And as always, I'll get these unbagged and we'll take another look. And we'll start her off here with the instructions. Again, I will have photos of everything at the end, but we'll flip through this to show them off. They do have great colored instruction manual. There's a shot of the engine. And the steps go. Again, this is depicting a certain drag car, so it's only kind of giving you one option, even though there might be some optional parts in the kit from other variations. So be aware of that. Here's some steps. Make sure you read your important parts. Apply race car decals to the body before assembling the body. Some nice tips and notes to heed along the way. Here we got suggested paint colors, which is always great to have. Gives you a really good idea of how to come up with their version of the car. Really nice looking built up here. Again, giving you some little tips and notes on how to build one. Really cool looking build ups. Really fantastic stuff there. And we'll move into it. And I'll just show the body again real quick. The sedan body that is appropriate for the super stock cars. And then we'll start rolling into the other parts. Right here we got the the hood, it's like a front panel, battery, radiator. There is our dash. Try to show off some of that detail there. Got the inner fender wells, rear pan, some wheel back parts, steering column, horns, firewall, radiator support. Again, some or none may get used in this particular kit. There's our super stock hood scoop. Those look like factory style seat backs, so those might not get used. We got our brake pedals there. There's a set of seats. There's our seat delete for the rear. And here's our super stock full exhaust. Those super long headers going into that single pipe all the way to the rear. Here's our wheels. We got two fronts, two rears, and then two deep rears. 
and six hood pins or trunk pins. Here we got a great looking body or floor pan. Our front front member, some spindles. There's our side or door cards. Really nice work. Even has the door lock sticking up there. Really nice detail work. Here's another set of headers for a different version. Looks like we have a transmission pan there. Nice bolt detail and everything. Fan, fan belts. It's like an alternator coil. Maybe a starter there. Maybe some air cleaner tops there. Oil pan, front cover, a couple of hoses. And there's our two engine heads for that 426 Hemi. Hemi heads, cross rim intake. There's a starter and distributor. Here's another subframe section. K member. Some other small parts there. Got some steering components. Shocks. Our rear end and leaf springs together. You can see there are some parts snipped off the trees from the factory. Trying to remove some of that excess from the packaging. Here we'll show off the clears. Again, we got a back glass and full sides for the race car. Drag cars have to have the windows up. Some marker lights, headlights, vent windows, and a really nice front window. And we have our chrome tree. And we get a set of those magnesium mag wheels. Again, we got two standard widths and then a deep set. Again, we get some more hood pins there, taillight housings, our bumper and grill components. It's like a center console, air cleaner, shifter, maybe some hubcaps for another variant. Looks like headlight buckets, door handles, maybe some more headlight buckets, rear view mirror trim. Those Hemi valve covers, wipers, and a side mirror. Again, there will definitely be some leftover parts from other variants with Mobius kits. We do have a pair of Pie Crust Slicks. Really good looking slicks there. Appropriate size for the arrow. And then our fronts are just a nice standard set of tires. Both good looking tires and appropriate for the car. And last is decals. Here we have that decal set. It is the white parts, so you'd have to paint the car orange and then add the white appliques. Again, that Wheels Racing Enterprise 1964 Super Stock Champion Butch Leo California Flash. Some Plymouth, we do get uh, 426 callouts, the gauge, other parts are car numbers, some contingency decals, Belvedere script, I'll drag news, and there's that hood piece, really nice looking decal package, and with that, thanks for watching.